Hey guys, we're back with another video, and in this video, we will be talking about the actress who plays Julia Tennant in NCIS Hawaii and her newest role outside of CBS. Her co-stars from the NCIS spinoff have been very supportive of her new venture. You're probably wondering which star we're talking about, so we won't keep the suspense much longer. Watch till the end to find out more about this. Let's begin. First off, let's get to the main thing. Who's playing what, and how did their co-stars show their support? Remember Special Agent Jane Tennant? Well, of course you do. She's the main character of the series. What we really meant to ask was, do you remember her children? Well, her daughter, Julie Tennant, is played by child star Mahina Napoleon, the same actress who will now be starring in another role away from CBS. Isle of the Dead is a spinoff of The Walking Dead and is set to premiere sometime in 2023. Scott M. Gimple, showrunner of The Walking Dead, addressed an audience of fans at the 2022 San Diego Comic-Con and revealed some huge clues regarding the upcoming show. He announced that production on the much-anticipated spinoff Isle of the Dead has already commenced and that Mahina, a nine-year-old actress, has actually joined the cast of the Walking Dead sequel. The producer promised fans that the new cast and their parts would be amazing and we were going to love them. It was also announced that Mahina would be playing Jenny, a child survivor of the pandemic and one of the main characters in the show. You go, girl. She will co-star with Lauren Cohen and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who will reprise their roles as Maggie Green and Negan Smith, respectively. And in the cutest show of support, the actors from NCIS Hawaii have taken to their social media accounts to congratulate Mahina on her newest role. Jason Antoon, who played Ernie Malik in the drama series, offered a special tribute to his co-star Mahina on Instagram to congratulate her on the role. Our very own Mahina Napoleon from NCIS Hawaii will be appearing in the forthcoming Walking Dead spinoff. So excited to see this, the actor wrote in one of his posts. If that is not the sweetest form of support and encouragement, we don't know what is. Now it's time to spill the deets on the spinoff. The plot of the upcoming series has mostly been kept a secret, but we've got some insider scoop for you anyway. Maggie and Negan venture to a post-apocalyptic Manhattan that has been sealed off from the mainland in the spin-off series. The decaying city is teeming with the dead and citizens who have created their own world of chaos, violence, beauty, and terror in New York City. Gaius Charles will join them to either support or hinder their goal as Pearly Armstrong. With the power of his will and his menace, Armstrong is confident, relentless, and unrelenting in his pursuit of what he thinks to be justice. The news of this spin-off surprised fans since it revealed that Negan and Maggie would live to the finale of The Walking Dead. Never heard of a producer giving out spoilers like that before, have you? The pairing of these two individuals, who have been enemies since Negan murdered Maggie's husband, Glenn, several years ago, was also a surprise. But the current time frame has forced the duo to coexist for the greater good of the communities, and maybe they might sort out their differences somehow too. Currently, the only cast members announced beside the two from the original series are Gaius Charles as Pearly Armstrong, Mahina Napoleon, Zeljko Ivanik, Jonathan Higginbottom, Karina Ortiz as Amaya, and Kayla Paul as Wesley. Moving on to something that might blow your mind, the human residence zip line from building to building to cross streets. During a podcast interview, AMC's programming chief, Dan McDermott, provided insights regarding the plot of Isle of the Dead. During the conversation, McDermott says that Manhattan was abandoned and turned over to the zombies after the government destroyed all of the city's bridges and tunnels. The bombing took place 12 years ago. Manhattan has now been overrun by a million strong walker horse. The limited human population is bound to reside above the 10th story and zip line from one building to the next across streets. This seems like an excellent idea for an apocalyptic show. We still don't know what will happen when Maggie and Negan partner up for this operation, and for that, maybe we'll have to wait till an official trailer is released. But there's still a long way to go till that happens. So in the meantime, we'll just have to watch the last few episodes of The Walking Dead and make imaginary scenarios to deal with our curiosity. Let's check out what we have in other related news. First off, NCIS Hawaii's main girl Vanessa Lachey recently posted a funny clip to expose the hardships of filming. CBS is presently filming the eagerly awaited second season of their newest NCIS spinoff. While fans wait for NCIS Hawaii's summer break to conclude, the main actress Vanessa Lachey has been keeping her 1 million Instagram followers entertained with sneaky previews of forthcoming scenes and lots of backstage screw-ups. In her most recent Instagram story, Vanessa shared some amusing videos of her taller co-star struggling to get into the driver's seat. She and her co-star Noah Mills apparently struggled to get into and out of a camera rigged sedan on set for NCIS Hawaii Season 2. In the hit NCIS spinoff, which debuted last year, the actress play main agent Jane Tennant and her partner Jesse Boone. She captioned the first video, this is how 6'3 gets into a camera rigged car, and how 6'3 gets out. This was when Noah proceeded to unbuckle his seatbelt. Are you going to hop on out? Vanessa baited her co-star. He laughed in return before exclaiming loudly, oh god. Noah had to squirm around the seat 
seat in order to exit through the driver's window feet first, which was far harder than it seemed. He fought for his life trying to get out, twisting himself into an uncomfortable posture to plant his feet on the ground. This is a bad idea, said her co-star, as if everyone who saw him attempt that did not already know. It was worse than a bad idea, Noah. It was a terrible idea. What have you guys stuck in a dangerous position? Now you might be wondering why in Evans did the actors not simply open the door and step out. Well, that's because the car doors were sealed shut to install cameras inside. The directors need to find a better way because jumping out of windows is super inconvenient and dangerous. Not to forget, hilarious. Also, some behind-the-scenes videos have given rise to a new fan theory for Season 2 of NCIS Hawaii. Agents Lucy Terra and Kate Whistler instantly became NCIS favorites because of their clumsy, chaotic, yet adorable romance that grew over the CBS spinoff's first season. With the second season of NCIS Hawaii approaching, some behind-the-scenes glimpses have offered viewers their first look at where their relationship will stand when the show returns. Some fresh set of clips from NCIS Hawaii's second season may have revealed another breakup between Lucy and Kate. Although their love was renewed at the finale of the first season, fans are concerned about the current behind-the-scenes glimpse. Their onset encounter appears to have caught the duo in the middle of a heated quarrel, which might lead to another fight. Tori looks to be gesturing furiously while Yasmin responds sharply. Unfortunately, their conversation was not audible in the clip, so viewers were left to speculate what the pair was talking about. One fan wrote that they were glad the couple was communicating about their problems, while another wrote that the scene seemed pretty intense. Lastly, Vanessa Lachey opened up about feeling like Wonder Woman. Vanessa Lachey recently confessed that taking on the character of Jane Tennant on the CBS drama NCIS Hawaii took on new meaning after she watched it with her daughter. The mother of three said that when her children saw the show and when her daughter gazed at her in awe as if she were Wonder Woman, she understood how important her role really was. When her daughter saw her representing women in a strong and brave way, Lachey realized what it meant for the little boys and girls watching the series and how it's a step in the right direction because the show portrays reality. She also said that she was happy to be chosen to represent women of her ethnicity. The star said that she feels it is vital to make an influence in the world and speak up for people that need her, which is why she collaborated with DQ for Miracle Treat Day. Every Blizzard purchased in participating stores will result in a $1 donation to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. She believes that her part would show all youngsters that you can have it all, no matter who you are, that one of your roles cannot stop you from picking up another. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the upcoming spin-off, Isle of the Dead? Is there something in particular you would like to see covered in the show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.